a very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in the month of December, the last month of this year, 2023. From Gonzal Grappo, Point Fourteen, in the deep south, in the southern part of Trinidad and Tobago, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Happy to join you all on this day, Saturday. In this short video, brothers and sisters, I want to continue on my very important topic that I continue in that vein, where I already posted a short video on YouTube dealing with the Arab-Israeli conflict. So I just want to put my spin on it and throw my two cents in concerning the matter. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, throughout the international community, throughout the international landscape. Well, brothers and sisters, you know that the, 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 the fighting that is taking place in Israel in the Gaza Strip against Hamas, the militant group Hamas, that control the Gaza Strip and Israel bombardment continue that bombardment and their uh, strong offenses against um, Hamas. Um, so the war continue, and there is no truth in the process when he sees fire right now. And the Prime Minister and the War Cabinet, Benjamin Netanyahu, say uh, it will take months to eradicate that radical group. Um, Hamas. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my analysis of the situation in Israel is um, it is the intent of the Prime Minister and his cabinet ministers in the coalition government of Israel to wipe out Israel, to kill every member of Hamas, that militant group, radical group. But in reality, that will not happen because you are not dealing with the animals, you are dealing with human beings. And, and, and and Hamas is a structured group, right? And these these people are intelligent people too. They are not animals. A lot of them will cross the border and go into Lebanon. A lot of them will cross the border and go into Egypt and even Jordan to save some of the fighters. So to say that the Israeli government will kill every Hamas member, that is wishful thinking on the part of um the cabinet of Israel, the Jewish government. I mean, that is the intent of the heart. They would love to achieve that a full 100%. But given the reality, since you are dealing with human beings, that cannot happen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls everywhere. I know a lot of people in the Jewish community who will see this video will say, Eric Braxton, this little Trinidadian boy, your big Trinidadian boy, you are talking nonsensical foolishness. What you are saying is ridiculous and absurd. By I saying that I'm opposing the Jewish government, not at all, I'm dealing with the reality. And if you all analyze carefully what I'm saying, you all will arrive to that, to that truth, that the Israeli government cannot really eliminate Hamas, all its members. So there is no Hamas member again. That is impossible. That cannot achieve, ladies and gentlemen. That, that cannot achieve. I'm not saying that the Jewish government cannot achieve victory. They could achieve victory against Hamas, but they say to kill out every Hamas member. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, this is a short video and this is my view on the matter. Right? But but the suffering and the bloodshed on both sides continue in the Gaza, in the in the Arab Israeli conflict that is taking place right now in Israel. That is taking, pl taking place right now in Israel. The war that is taking place. It is a sad case of affairs because uh, more than 100 Israeli soldiers have got killed. More than 18,000 Palestinians have got killed, mainly women and children. And about more than 40,000 Palestinians, more than, I mean, let me, I make a mistake, more than 18,000 Palestinian men, um, people have got killed civilian, mainly women and children, and more than 40,000 Palestinians have got wounded. And the fighting continues. 
The gun offenses continue and the bombardment, aerial bombardment with the Israeli military jet continue. So the Palestinian people are really going through a terrible time, a tough time now, ladies and gentlemen. But the main target is not the civilian population of the Palestinian people, it's really the militant group Hamas. Right? So I know some will people will agree with me, some will disagree with me. That's the reality at the, at the end of the day. I don't expect every human being to agree to what, um, what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. But in spite of what is taking place in Palestine, the God of mankind who created the human being, the human family, the angels and the universe. He's above sitting on the throne, God the Father and Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Scriptures, the historical record. And they are watching what has taken place. And eventually, God will, when Jesus Christ come again to the earth and reveal himself to mankind, he will bring all wars to an end, according to the Scriptures. So the fruit here for the world and for mankind is very bright, brothers and sisters. It's very bright. There's a time coming when the all wars will stop. No more armed conflict. No more revolution. No more overthrowing of government. No more bloody revolution. All these things will be the thing of the past. And the whole world will be going through a time of everlasting peace and stability, ladies and gentlemen. And mankind cannot bring that. Does God have to bring that to mankind? That bright fruit here. That is ahead of mankind. Because that bright fruit here, ahead of mankind, is in the hands of God. It is not in the hands of the angels. It is not in the hands of mankind. It is in the hands of God. And God is the only qualified one, both God and the Father, both Jesus Christ and the Father, since both of them is one. There is only two qualified persons to bring about that for the benefit of mankind. So the fruit here of mankind is very bright, but that brightness that God will manifest towards the human family, where mankind will live in peace forever and ever, is in the hands of God, and he's the only one to bring it about. Ladies and gentlemen, believe you me, he's the only one to bring it about. I know a lot of people will say I'm talking nonsense, foolishness. What I'm saying is ridiculous and absurd. They expect the United Nations to bring about it. They expect the, the wise men of the world to bring about it. That bright future. They expect the scientific community, the scientists in the scientific community, to bring about that bright future for mankind. Men will try. But it is not in there. They are not qualified to do that. And all those who have tried to do that have failed miserably and they will continue to fail miserably, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all over the world. The only two qualified persons to bring about that bright future for mankind is God the Father and Jesus Christ. These are the only two qualified persons to bring it about. So the future of mankind is bright, but that bright future is in the hands of God is in the hands of God. And he's the only one to bring it about for mankind. So mankind, the human family, the children of men will benefit in that bright future according to the prophecies of the Bible. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, well, well, happy, was happy for me to join you all in this video and to share this thought with you all, brothers and sisters. So as I take my departure and as I bring, my, bring the curtain down this video, I just want to say, um, was nice sharing this with you all. And see you all in the next video. So shalom, peace. And see you all in the next video, brothers and sisters, in the shortest possible time. Well, brothers and sisters, well, brothers and sisters, that was my spin on the matter, my little spin on the matter that is taking place in Israel. In Israel. In Israel. Tel Aviv, Israel. Don't forget, I have more to say on this matter in coming videos. And as soon as I record this video, these videos, I will try, I will post it 
on my YouTube account in the quickest and in shortest possible time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, as I take my departure, as I take my part here, as I take my departure, ladies and gentlemen, as I take my departure, may God bless you all and bless the human family from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.